ma'am. In the in JavaScript, we have two types of uh, data types, like a primitive and non-primitive data type. So comes to the primitive data types, we have a strings, booleans, null, undefined, and numbers. So strings like uh, like sequence of the characters, uh, in, uh, it will be declared in the double quotes and single quotes. Boolean like true or false. So null values like only one value consider that that is a null. In numbers, we have the non types and floating like that. Like, uh, like integers comes to in numbers and it will be the range of minus 2 to the power of 52, 53 to plus to the power of like 2 to the power of 53. Okay. Mm. Coming to non primitive non, data Yeah, types. in non primitive data sets, we have an object literal and the object constructor. So both are used to the create the object. So the difference is for the using of that. Uh, object literals we are declaring like uh, using the um, flower braces and we are include the key value pairs. So keys, uh, into the keys we have a properties and methods. So key values is the property of the value. Value is the property of this value. For constructor we have to like a new operator. We are using the new operator we can create the object and we can uh, methods and functions are the dot notations. Okay. So explain hoisting in JavaScript. So hoisting is a default behavior in the Java, uh, JavaScript programming. So where is uh, where all the functions and variables are called on top of that methods and programming. Okay. So why do we use the debugger in JavaScript? So debugger is used to debug the code into that. And built-in debuggers is uh, maybe the switch on and off automatically. Okay, when requiring to the users report the false, like what is a false we are like uh, we, need, we need. So comes to the debugger, so when we are giving, setting to the debugging, so it will be executing the code one by one, line by line. line, by line yes. Okay, what is the difference between var and let keywords in JavaScript? Yes, ma'am. From the very beginning in the JavaScript, we are the uh, variable declaration is declared with a var. Okay. So, uh, let keyword is uh, recently added in the 2015. Uh -huh. So, var is a functional scope. So, we can access the anywhere in the program. So, okay. let is not like that. We can okay. declare the only the block of the statement where we can declare, we can call it. Okay. Is a JavaScript is a statically typed or dynamically typed? JavaScript is dynamically typed. Okay. Why nothing but like... Uh, when we are doing when we are doing the dynamically type, the type of the variable is checked in during the runtime. So it is a truly constant of the constant of that uh, statistically type. Statistically type is uh, type is variable checking while the compile time. Okay. So what is NAND property in uh, JavaScript? The NAND property represents a not a not a number. Mm -hmm. So it is indicates the uh, not uh, value of the not legally number. So non property is a type of num uh, written as a number, non type. So if the value is a non or not, we can check using the is non function. Okay, is non function. Non function. The is non function is convert the any value, the given value to the number, and that number is converted and it equals to the given number to the non keyword. Okay. Explain higher ordered functions in JavaScript. Functions is operates on the functions. So like uh, it will be either converted, uh, it will be taking the arguments or it will be returning, uh, returning the values like that. It will be a comes to that a higher order function. Okay. Explain this keyword in JavaScript. This keyword represents objects. Mm -hmm. So which is a depending on how it will be invoking. Uh, and that uh, dif uh, this keyword is refers to the different objects like wh what is the performance of the particular object was doing like uh, when we are using a method thus this keyword is refers to the object when it will be alone it will be doing this keyword it will be a global object global object yes. okay what do you mean by self invoking function self invoking in the sense without requesting Okay. Without request, like uh, self-invoking functions, uh, expressions are automatically invoked. When we are doing, uh, like uh, functions was followed by the parentheses, it will be executed automatically. So, uh, uh, when the functions was, declaration was not done by itself, right? So, normally when we are uh, uh, writing the function and we can call it. 
So when, uh, however, when we are using the anonymous functions, it will be executing automatically. Okay. What is the difference between execute function and test methods? Yes. Okay. Execute method and test methods in JavaScript. Execute method and test methods are same doing the one thing like a uh, strings comparison matches the string is presented in that particular string or not. So when it comes to the execute function, the string is presented in the given string, it will be print an array, otherwise it will be print an array. Uh, in the test method, the particular statement will be a true or false, the boolean results only it will be given. Okay. So explain call method apply method and bind methods okay. so call method is takes the arguments as in separately the apply method is takes the arguments as in arrays so bind method uh, bind method is to helps to create a function and we can use it the latter okay uh, explain some advantages of external javascript it will be separate the code html and javascript separately and it, uh, code reusability is main thing and here the reading of the uh, javascript course and maintenance of the code is a very easy hmm. explain scope and scope way scope chain javascript scope and uh, scope and scope chain scope is used to accessible the functions and variables and methods objects are uh, part of that particular code and the scope chain is a hierarchy scope and it will be nested within it each and each and everything. Okay. So, uh, can you write down one program? Okay. Uh, on arrays in JavaScript. How we can define arrays in JavaScript? First, tell me what is the definition of array? It is a sequence of the similar data type. It will be storing the values in the contextual memory location. Okay. So, uh, actually in JavaScript, we are having a three ways to represent your arrays, right? Three ways to represent arrays. So, write down on program how we can represent arrays in JavaScript. Okay. What is the purpose of title tag? It will be give the title of the web page. Okay. Here there is a class. Yes, ma'am. We can so class means you should represent a with a capital letter, right? New array. It is a class or uh, anything. A is equal to new array you have written. Yes, ma'am. Mm. So A should be capital or small letter? Small. Here, here. Uh, Right. Close the quotations. Break tag. Mm. What is the purpose of break tag? It will be break the line and it will be to the next line. Okay.
okay so these are the three ways right so I explain the first way how we are storing the elements so first way is literal so second is a regular and third one is a condensed so in the first we can take the how many elements we need to we can uh, retrieve so here we are using the for loop so it will be uh, uh, looping between the uh, 0 to 5 so uh, it will be compared that uh, elements and it will be give the output okay and then second, second one is a regular so it will be taking like so first one first iteration it will be given the 22 and second iteration is 33 like this the five iterations mm -hmm. so in the third one so uh, it will be used to condense like a list type Okay. So it will be given the file and it will be iterated with the file times. Okay. So your interview is completed. Okay. Do you have any questions to ask me no. regarding your performance? Yes, ma'am. Tell me how I perform. Okay, good. Uh, you are very confident at what we are, what what you are saying. Okay. Your uh, communication is also good. Okay. That's it. But uh, uh, please improve your technical skills. Okay? okay. Apart from that, everything is good. Okay. Okay. So for further information, that means if you are selected for further rounds, our HR will contact you. Okay. Okay. okay.